Well, hello there. How are you doing? Oh, that good. So am I. I'm still alive. Isn't that amazing? Well, I'm beginning 20th week of quarantine and lockdown. But I'm not going to have my feet nailed to the floor. I'm going to escape once again. This time, I'm going to go back to the Caribbean and I'm going to do a flight between San Juan in Puerto Rico and go down to St. Martin's, the Princess Juliana airport there. It's a really interesting airport, is Princess Juliana. There are a lot of photographs on the internet about uh, tourists sitting on the beach because the beach is exactly where the threshold of the runway is. So here are all these tourists, all with their cameras, and they're taking pictures of all of these jets coming into land directly overhead. <laughs> A little risky, <laughs> especially if I was flying. <laughs> well, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly into that airport. Perhaps we can even um, give a little bit of a scare to some of the tourists on the ground. Who knows? Get their heart, hearts beating a bit faster. Now, the runway isn't all that long, but it's long enough for a jet, 737. And uh, landing, you need to be able to stop because at the other end, there's this bloody great hill. So. As I say, interesting place to land. Also, since it is a little island and the runway is right there on the beach, it's a bit exposed. So it is prone to crosswinds, sudden gusts, interesting conditions. Now, what I propose is showing you how I go about putting together a flight like this. I was asked, so I thought I would detail a little bit about how I do that. I'm going to have three pages open. One will be my SIM brief, which is where I go to actually make the flight plan that will then be installed into the simulator later on. The second web page I go to is windy.com because I want to see what the weather conditions are like. And the third, of course, is my Navigraph uh, page because that's the one that actually is going to give me all the information I need about standard instrument departures and instrument approaches. So let's have a look, shall we? Well, here you can see we have the open page for SIM brief. So let's start filling in the information. Orion Air and Flight 186. And we are departing from TJSJ. And we're going to go to... TNCM. And for the alternate, it says we're going to go back. So if we don't land, we have to go back to Puerto Rico. Here's my aircraft. I already have the, uh, the airframe already configured. So I'm just going to select it. Cruise profile you can see here is 10, which is standard. 
well, it's standard anyway for Ryanair. Um, it's showing the departure is 8 and the arrival is 10. Okay, well, we'll see that in a moment with when we go to Windy. Passengers, we're always full. Cargo, we have half a ton. We've got a quarter of a ton in the forward and a quarter in the back. As you know, Ryanair doesn't like carry-on baggages. So now we get down to making the route. Now, there are suggestions over here on the right-hand side. You can take these, you can choose one of the others. If you click on the view more routes, you will see the ones that have been chosen before. But scrolling down, I notice these are all sim brief ones and they are not necessarily uh, ones that have been used recently by a commercial aircraft. So, not finding one that has already been done, we are then going to make our own. Now here's the Windy and we're going to have a look here I'm zooming in. Now you can see this is the airport. It's just on a spit of sand pretty much. And here's the the big hill at the far end. Aircraft taking off when they go in this direction they have to make a right turn. But we're going to be coming in to land right here on runway 10. Now let's have a look. It says wind is 080. That means it's blowing straight down the runway. 80 degrees the wind, 5 knots. Not too bad. Varying from 050 to 010. So in other words, it's moving about. Visibility is 10 kilometers. Clouds are a few at 1800 feet. So we'll have a little bit of cloud and a little bit of instrument conditions coming in. Temperature is a nice warm 27 degrees Q&H 1015. Okay so we know we're going to be coming in then on runway 8. So now let's have a look at San Juan and now the Sim Brief was suggesting that it would be runway 8 that we would be taking off from. That's fine. And the wind is coming in from 110 degrees. A few clouds at 3300 feet. Visibility is 10 statute miles. Scattered 7500. Temperature is the same 27 degrees. Now let's have a look at the Navigraph. Now the first thing we need to do when we're going to make a new flight plan in Navigraph, we need to do new flight, manual input. I'm going to do manual at this particular point. The origin is TJSJ and the destination is CM and then create. So here we are, we've got the the starting point and we have the destination. So from the start we have We will be taking off from runway 8 and the first point will be using the Stingray. We add that to the route and then VP07, add that to the route and we're going to add that after Stingray. The next point is going to be St. Thomas. We add that to the route 
and after that and then our next waypoint is Pasik add that after St. Thomas and then L-A-R-P-P -P. add that after Pasik Juice is right here that's our next waypoint and that's after there now we will be coming in on the Aluba um, if we have a look here and check this you can see with the overlay it says the Aluba is the point well let's just put that in then Uluba that's it and that will be after juice and then the coming in on final and that will take us straight in there so there is our route now we'll have a look at the departure plate uh, stingray chaka and all the rest good and now we'll have a look at this plate comes from juice aluba and then straight in onto st martin runway 10. now we built this um, information so having a look here now we have all the information that we need so i'm going to copy that and now I'm going to go back to SimBrief, paste it into this box, analyze the route, and it says it's a workable route. And it's brought all the information in that we need, including our departure should we have a missed approach okay so the information is in there the route is valid departure 8 arrival on 10 so we're now going to save the flight and the next thing we're going to do is generate a flight plan using that information now this flight plan is what we will actually import into PMDG when we're ready and here you can see we have the information and airtime is 39 minutes here's the block fuel we need all together this is for the entire journey including any emergency and missed approach and having to return to san juan so that's six thousand and seventy one kilograms and there's our flight plan it's all marked in there and here's all the information here it says what the reserves are and the trip and taxi will be taking up there's the average wind right there And then down here, here we've got each of the waypoints, the entire flight plan is there. And then this, we will need these figures for putting into the information. That's how I would go about making a flight plan. So. 
If you're ready, let's go hop in the simulator and see whether or not this flight plan actually goes in as we expect, shall we? Welcome to Ryanair 186. Pull up, take a seat, and let's take a flight to Princess Juliana Airport in the Dutch Antilles, shall we? Right here, we're at Stand C5 at San Juan, Puerto Rico. And we're just getting ready to power up and go. Okay, first thing we do, turn on the power. Let's put on the fuel pump on the left here. And then, and we'll start up the auxiliary power unit. Right now we're running off the battery, which is 28 volts. And as you know, batteries won't take an awful lot of uh, drainage. So we have to have another source of power. This is now climbing. When it comes back to about four, it'll say that it is generating 115 volts and that will show up here. So then we'll switch our source from the battery to the auxiliary power unit. And it's coming back down in a moment. There it is. Now we have 115 volts up here. Right, turn on the galley, get some tea brewing, emergency lights, no smoking, fasten seat belt, and we'll turn on the window heat, turn on the probes, and let's have the hydraulic pumps on. The air stairs are down and the forward service hatch is open. People are already starting to board, so we will turn on the air conditioning and let them get nice and cool. Turn on our steady light so people know that we're on board. Now, turn on the IRS, let them get warmed up. The IRS, of course, are our onboard GPS. Right, we've got arches here, arches there. That says the IRS is active. So we are at SJ, TJSJ. And we go down to the next page. Now, according to the information on the parking gate coordinates, C5 should be 1826.3 and 066001. And now the IRS and the GPS has just aligned itself. So we have the information in here. And now our location is put into the computer. Now go over to a route. There's our origin. Our destination is TNCM. So T N C M. We are flight Ryanair. R Y R and we're number 186. Now here's where we're going to go and look at the flight plan that we made earlier. So we are going direct to Stingray, so SNGRA. So SNG. R A 
And then we go to VP007. And the next one is direct to STT. Then we go via B20. Put in B520 and then we go to juice. After juice it's Uluba. And that is our root. So we activate that. Now let's put in our fix. We want to see the circles around our destination. And the destination of course is at TNCM. And we need a four mile circle. A 10 mile circle and a 30 mile circle. Now we go to descent forecast and we'll put in the flight levels that we need to put in the information for and there are three but before that let's listen in to the weather forecast Tango, November, Charlie, Mike, airport information, Charlie, 1100, Sulu, weather, wind, 105 at 6, visibility, 10,000, sky condition, view, clouds at 2,000, temperature, 25, view point, 20, QNH, 1017, advice on initial contact, you have information, Charlie, 1017, then is the QNH, now we put in the information that we uh, noted in our flight plan. So for flight level 200 is 61 degrees and at 18 knots. Then 60 at 13 and then 99 at 16. Execute. Good. Now, departure probably is going to be 8. But let's listen in, let's tune in to 8 is on 125.8. Luis Munoz Marin International Airport Information Tango 1137 one, Zulu Wind 043 at 14 Visibility greater than 20 miles in light rain sky condition 2500 scattered 3400 scattered ceiling 9100 broken temperature 23 dew point altimeter 211017 one, landing and departing runway 8 runway 9 left Runway 8 left and runway 1 0 VFR aircraft say direction of flight All aircraft read back hold short instructions Advise controller on initial contact you have Tango Well that looks interesting It looks like all of the airports could be used So we won't know which one Until we actually get our ground clearance So let's tune in to the ground And let's ask them for clearance to go to the active and we are going east. San Juan ground, Ryanair 186 with Tango request taxi for takeoff departure to the east. Ryanair 186 taxi to and hold short of runway 8 via taxiway November November 1 Sierra Sierra 1 contact tower on 132.05 when ready. Taxi, hold short, runway 8, using taxiway, November, November 1, Sierra, Sierra 1, Ryanair 186. So, it is going to be runway 8. So, we'll put that one in. And on the arrival, we happen to know that we will be coming in on 
via Wazulu 10. Now let's check the legs and make sure that everything is running okay. So we're now going to go step by step through the route looking for any mistakes. It's basic, there's LARP, there's Juice, Luba, Devier, and Runway 10 all the way in. And that is because we worked all of this out beforehand. Good. So now we know that we are set. Okay. Now the next thing we'll do is we'll put in the initialization. So let's go ahead and do that. Our fuel is already in. We have 6071 altogether, or 6.2 close enough. Now we need 5.4 for the trip. Now 5.4 is the aggregate of 3,302 and 2,064 kilograms. That makes 5,366 and it's closest to 5.4 because we'll round it off up a little bit. So it's 5.4 we put in there. The actual reserves are 3.3. zero fuel weight and it balances out. Cost index is 10. Now our flight level today is 250 and the cruise wind is 65 at 16 knots. The transition altitude at Princess Juliana is 5,000 feet. So we'll put that in and then execute. N1 limit, 23 degrees. Now it's a long runway so we'll do flaps 5. Center of gravity, so the trim that we need to set on the wheel is going to be 4.7. Now the next thing I want to do is to go and do a page down because it's pouring with rain outside so therefore I'm changing it now to wet. Go back and put these in. Good. Since we're leaving on runway 8, that'll be 078 here. 078 here. We're going to be flying at 23,000 today so we'll set 23,000 in this is into our pressurization for the cabin zero is because it's at uh, the airport in uh, St. Martin it is only 17 feet above sea level so we've got that set in and 78 here good so let's check this, put this into 144, okay, okay, good, we have a solid plan, right. We are now ready to push back and depart. So let's bring up the stairs and close the door. Everybody's sitting in and drinking complimentary champagne, if only.
Okay, lights are off. Things look good. Turn on all the fuel pumps. Release the brake and we're going to push back and go to the left. So, we'll turn off the air conditioning and we'll switch this on to generator 2 and we'll start engine number 2. We're looking, of course, for 24. And then we'll introduce the fuel. There it is. We're going to watch the start valve is open. Watching the oil pressure. And yes, ah, good, it's building up. We're starting to get a good spin. And there we've got a good ignition. And we have 115 volts. So now we'll switch to engine number one and start engine one. The start valve is open. We're starting to spin up. We're watching for 24 down here. There's 24, so we'll bring the fuel up to fuel idle. Now we're wanting to make sure that the oil pressure builds up in engine number one. Yes, we've got oil pressure and the EGT is building up. We're getting a good spin. And we have ignition. And switch that off. We have 115 volts, so now we'll switch to that, turn on the air conditioning, and we will turn off the APU. We're now running on the power coming from the generator, uh, the main engine. We'll be Our, here we go, we're at our, there's the line, put the brake on, say thank you to the ground crew for giving us a pushback. Now, we'll go to flaps 5, turn on the auto brake, so let's go Generators are on, probe heat is on, anti-ice is correct, isolation valve is correct, engine start levers idle, detent flight deck door is closed and locked, recall and is check, flight controls check, flaps, flaps 5, green lights, and we have stabilizer trim, 4.7 is correct. Auto brake is RTO. Sp speed brake lever is off, down the detent. Ground equipment is clear. We are all ready for taxi. Turn on the taxi lights. Alert the crew that we're about to move. And brake off and a little bit of power to get ourselves unstuck. There we go. Now we've got forward momentum. Now we can make our turn. Look out for any vehicles. Make sure there are no kamikaze fuel trucks 
wanting to make a target out of us. Ha! Set the barometer switch to 500 feet, which is the minimums at we at Juliana Airport. And check left and right. Stick my hand out left. We're turning left here. Ah, I will get some indicators one of these days, just for fun. got everything set flight plan is is correct we're looking good oh the windscreen wipers will be doing overtime as soon as we get to the end of the runway We'll tune in to the tower and then request takeoff clearance. We'll be at the whole short lines in just a moment. It's looking clear uh, of traffic, that is, not clear of weather. We have quite a bit of weather here, a lot of rain. Contact the tower, put the brake on. Sangwan Tower, Ryanair 186 at runway 8, ready for takeoff departure to the east. Ryanair 186 cleared for takeoff runway 8, departure to the east approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 8, Ryanair 186. Well, we've been given our clearance, so lights on. Engines continuous, bleeds on, packs, auto, landing gear is correct, flaps, engine start switches continuous, check, and start the clock, TCAS is on. So we'll move now into position on the runway, let the crew know. Make sure no aircraft are coming in.
car on the center line. Got the brakes on. Last check. And navigation lights are correct. Now advance to N1. We have N1, push toga, release brakes. up on 10,000 feet. We'll turn off the lights and it seems, yes, we're breaking out on the top. We'll turn off the seatbelt sign so people can move about.
will be at our cruising altitude of in just a moment. Here we are, 23,000 feet. We're just over the British Virgin Islands. Approaching our top of descent.
Princess Juliana International Airport Information Alpha 1351 Wind Zulu Visibility 104 at 6 greater than 20 miles Sky condition Temperature Few clouds at 2000 Dew point Altimeter 2520 1017 landing and departing runway 10 VFR aircraft say direction of flight all aircraft read back hold short instructions advise controller on initial contact you have Alpha well we have Alpha and it is going to be runway 10 coming in the visibility is greater than 20 miles so we've got good visibility going in The altimeter is 1017, we have that prepared. So we're on course for a landing as planned. Right, 15,000 feet, pressurization landing altitude is check, seatbelt signs are on, recall is checked, auto brake is armed, green light, landing data, VRF minimums are all check, approach briefing is complete, descent
St. Martin Islands in front of us, so they are in sight. And as soon as we get to the 30 mile circle, we'll be able to contact the tower and get our clearance to land. Turning on the lights as we are now below 10,000 feet. There have been some interesting videos of aeroplanes landing at this airport doing all sorts of things. The problem is you've got you're coming over the water and you suddenly then come over land and there's a change in the wind in the barometric pressure and it makes for interesting conditions. Juliana Tower, Ryanair 186 is 31 miles west with Charlie to land. Ryanair 186, Juliana Tower, fly straight in, runway 10, altimeter 1017. Fly straight in, runway 10, Ryanair 186. Well, we have our clearance to land. Parametric going to flaps two.
going to flap 10. Engine start switches, continuous. Altimeters, QNH set, both. Nav set. And approach is correct. Cabin speed brake lever is on. Landing gear is not yet down. Okay. through cloud now. The runway in sight. down and three green lights cabin secure speed brake lever arm landing gear down three green lights flaps are down and green lights 
landing checklist is complete. Those big 
light posts out there. watching the and door is open. Engines are shut down. Good, everybody's getting off. Right, we will start the closing down on here. is off and battery is off board is clear shutdown is complete welcome to st martin <laughs> 